All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome once again to Dr. J ENG. And what can I say, man? Um, right after the game, the super game that we played last night, an incredible game where we show, in my opinion, that everybody, right? We, we showed that everybody we're ready to go. This squad is just awesome and incredible. Bellingham is the real leader, the, the real deal, right? That we need for this season. And then right after that, we had to listen about Kylian Mbappé once again. And no, it's not very good news. It's actually bad news. In my opinion, what has happened or what has changed everything, the whole scenario is the probably or very likely exit from um, of Neymar. Okay, Neymar will play in Arabia, Saudi Arabia next year. Apparently, Al Hilal, if you have watched the uh, video of Fabrizio Romano that he uploaded like two hours ago or three hours ago, Neymar had received a very, very good offer from uh, Al Hilal in Arabia Saudi, Saudi Arabia. And then the whole script, right, the whole scenario has already changed with Kylian Mbappe. That, in my opinion, has made the change. Why? Because as you know, last year, one of the um, demands from Kylian Mbappe was for Neymar to leave, okay? To exit Kylian, um, Neymar, okay? So now that it has happened or it's about to happen, Kylian Mbappe is, according to Canal Plus and um, Andy Ruby as well, is about to renew or is at least open to renew um, and prolong his contract with PSG. Something that, in my opinion, was completely ruled out just 24 hours ago will have or might happen once again. I mean, another um, step in, in the back for Real Madrid, another, um, how would I say this, man, without being so, so hard with Kylian Mbappe, because this is something that we were advised about. I mean, we all knew Kylian Mbappe is that way. Today, he might be flirting a little bit with Real Madrid and tomorrow he will extend his contract with PSG because he did it in the past, right? So why are we waiting for a player that in reality doesn't want to play for Real Madrid? I mean, Neymar, have you seen how easy it is for a player to put the things together, right? And say, hey, if I want out, I mean, Neymar was completely agreed. He agreed with PSG to leave this season, so that's why every single thing has happened with the Saudi Arabia team. It's because the player really wanted to happen, and so when the player is okay with that, the things will happen like this right away. Kylian Mbappe, on the other hand, is a different story, right? And every time we hear about Kylian Mbappe coming to Real Madrid, the first thing you have to think, it's about the, a very, a lot of delays, a lot of, you know, hesitations, a, a lot of turns in every single uh, moment. So that's what, that is exactly what's happening right now. So if Kylian Mbappe renews his contract with PSG, it's because the player was never open to come to Real Madrid, it was just the last stage or another chance or another option that he had, but it wasn't at all the first choice or the first option for Kylian Mbappe. So now that we know Kylian Mbappe might stay in PSG once again, man, it's kind of disappointing again because every single person in Real Madrid was dreaming with the arrival of Kylian Mbappe. However, we cannot rule out completely Kylian Mbappe. Believe it or not, this story it has multiple faces, right? So we never know what's going on. And in my opinion, this thing is moving all the time in circles. So at the end of the day, man, what you can, the only thing you can do is wait. It's just wait. There's anything, there's no other way around. There's no other way to go. We cannot find a way out for this super drama, right? So we cannot either be happy about it, we cannot nor uh, be super down about that because we might see, we might witness another change, another turn right after tomorrow. Every single thing can happen, okay? But for now, according to Fabrizio Romano, Neymar is about to leave. And of course, now the PSG have, again, the money that they needed for the next year, right? Because as you know, one of the problems, one of the concerns about... Um, 
Mbappe and Al Khalifi biggest concern was the financial situation if Mbappe leave for free next year, right? So the first demand for PSG was to for Mbappe to leave right now this year just because uh, that way they could obtain the money that they need for the next year. And now that he's about to renew his contract, of course, he will make a ton of money, but with the earnings that they make out of Kylian Mbappe in terms of sponsorships and 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 advertisement and all that stuff it's good enough for them to keep the financial situation up and running and on top of that plus the money that they will receive for the deal with Neymar men is going to be great or good enough for them to you know keep the thing up and running so it's heartbreaking for Los Madridistas really 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 disappointing but it is what it is man this is what happened with this is what happens with Kylian Mbappe every time we speak about him, his future Real Madrid and all that stuff. I mean, that is, I wish I could be here just talking about the great game that we played, man. But with this whole thing going on, I'm getting sick and tired of it. And in my opinion, man, that's just unbelievable how this thing can turn over and over again. And honestly, I don't think, I don't think we should be, um, uh, confirming, claiming this is what, what is going to happen because we don't know. We never know what's going, on, what's going on with Kylian Mbappe. We never know the next chapter, right, when it comes to Kylian Mbappe. So if there's something new, man, I will let you know. But for now, this is what we got and there's no other way around. Apparently, the, the player for the first time this summer is open to um, extend his contract with Paris Saint-Germain, which is, again, very heartbreaking and disappointment and or disappointing for Los Madridistas. So let's see what happens.